Hey guys, welcome back to You Can Spoke. I'm Harry, and today we are going to review some tyres. If you go back to sometime last year, I think it was around September, possibly, I bought myself some Goodyear tyres for the gravel, 50 mil, and there's not many reviews out there, so I've done a good couple of thousand k's in them now. It's now April, we're just heading into autumn. The chill has definitely hit the air. Let's have a look at them and then we'll go for a spin. So Goodyear Connector Ultimate Tubeless Tyres, 50 mil width. That's the tread pattern. So they got a nice centre and then some pretty good knobs on the side here. They're probably like one and a half mil high. They do roll fast because of that nice centre tread and they do have pretty good grip. So I'm up here in uh, Marundi, Ages River Road. It's a dead end road. It's like 10 k's up, 10 k's back. Slightly uphill all the way, and then a nice fly down the way back. Okay, let's get out there. All right, so a few corrugations on this track at the moment. This one here. Bowsers. Pressure-wise, I never put an actual number on them. I just go by feel mostly. I have found with these tyres, especially the rear, if the pressure is too low, they do seem to squirm around a bit. The sidewalls, that's the first thing I noticed on these, was how supple they are. Got a really nice supple feel. Which a lot of tyres don't have. As I said before, they roll along pretty fast. Are they the fastest? I don't think so. And after I've done this review I'm actually going to swap them out for some Pirelli Centuros 50 mil medium mixed terrain which I have ridden before and one of my favorites however these are pretty close they're better than the Ramblers faster has got a grip. I mean, every gravel tyre is still going to be a bit sketchy on the corners. That is for sure. They're not mounted by tyres. Well, most of the riding I've done, which has been this sort of road, tarmac, bit of single track in Glenrock. These have been more than good enough. Oh, such a beautiful afternoon. Autumn's come real fast for us here in Australia. That's why we haven't had it and it's already getting down to frost temperatures and it's only April. Snowing in the Alpine areas, that normally doesn't happen until end of May, June. So corrugations here, no problem. I'm just soaking them up, over feeling them. So these tyres were super easy to set up, tubeless, just a hand pump, a floor pump, 
Just pump straight up. First go. So, good year experience coming in there. Glorious place to be. These tyres blew up to pretty well 50 mil on 25 mil inner rims. I'm running them on my giant carbon CXR2s. Review coming. Because I'm loving those carbon wheels, I gotta say. So I'm just gliding over these rocks and stuff here. Like I said, if you have the rear teeth too low, we'll bottom out. I just bottomed out on the ramp back there. So this is about the, what I'm running here pressure-wise. Seems a bit firm actually. Front. Oh, rear's a bit less. Okay, better a little bit out the front. Okay, that's better. I normally run them pretty firm because a lot of the riding I do is more tarmac than gravel these days at the moment anyways. Having trouble getting out in the gravel, but uh, I've got a week off now, so I'll do as much as I can in this time. Let's try it from a different angle, shall we? Fucking shit. Pay cheap, pay twice, guys. That just fell on the ground and broke. Useless. Okay. Here we go. This is a bit of a different angle. Yeah, so this ride is very low percent, maybe 2% climb, but it's just all the way for 10 k's. So you really notice it. Then all the way back, it's just flying. with these tyres on the hull and I'd keep them if I hadn't snapped up a second hand pair of Prellies for a hundred bucks for a pair when well, you just can't knock that back can you that's for sure back to the view Hills of Marunda, that's actually the Liverpool Range, which runs along most of the east coast of Australia. So I would recommend these ties. Actually got a deal on them online, a pair for 120. Given that tyres have not come down at all in price, actually getting dearer, that was a bargain. So I don't know if I'll sell them, I'll just swap them out save them for another time. That's the other thing about them. There's been minimal wear in these tyres. 
I've taken them bike packing to the weekend away. Like I said, a couple of thousand Ks. They don't even look like they've been touched. Even the rear. It's still got plenty of life in it. So that's pretty impressive. Oh shit! Oh fuck, that was a snake, guys. See that big sucker? Red belly. Don't want to get too close, he might chase me. But he's not going anywhere. He's enjoying the sunlight. More we'll just let him be, I think. As I said, autumn time, so the snakes are getting ready to hibernate here in Australia. Believe me, you don't want to bite from that fellow. He's going to make you pretty sick. Probably won't kill you. I've actually seen somebody get bitten by a red belly when I used to work in a pub. This snake catcher guy come in with a red belly, he was pissed. You know, bit him on the thumb. Like, I'll be right, I'll be a bit hungover, more hungover than normal. Yeah, it's crazy. Alright guys, so I'm going to now, turning around, heading down, back down the valley. So I'm just going to let the filming do the talking here. And the first bit's actually got some nice rough bits. It's going to show how good these tyres really are. Let's do it. Oh, I saw this amazing lizard. Completely camouflaged there. Let's check this fellow out. What a little beauty. It's just the same colour as the gravel. Blends in. Oh, nicely. That's where we're heading. Back down that way. Here we go. Like I said guys, these tyres are fast and so comfortable. You see how rough that is? Gliding over carcass that like I said, stop all. All right, guys, well, that's the test of these Goodyear Connect tyres. Let's rate them, shall we? Now, I've ridden in quite a few gravel tyres now, and I'd rate these as 
probably my number two choice up to date they're fast they got pretty good grip they're good width 50 mil I think that's pretty ideal for gravel myself no punctures so very good supple carcass but strong like super easy to set up tubeless and the wear has been awesome so overall I'm rating these up around the 8 out of 10 I'm guess all right guys thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing look forward to our next video together not sure what that will be but I still have to review the giant carbon wheel set so that might be the next one see you next time